Today on the Rumors Comedy Cast, Jordan Wellwood talks to Nate Bergazzi about how he came up along with some of the big names in comedy, his friend's golf game falling apart before his eyes, and the creative control he's pretty sure he has on his new Comedy Central special coming up. Subscribe and stay tuned. Welcome to the Rumors Comedy Cast here at Rumors Restaurant and Comedy Club. I don't know what that means, John, but thank you. Okay, episode seven. Awesome. Nice. Uh, we're here with Nate Bargatze. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we met about, I don't know, an hour or two ago. Yeah. And it's been going swimmingly ever I since. it's been going great. Yeah. So, I don't know. I just figured maybe you could talk about your set tonight and how it went and oof, what your thoughts are here. I think you guys can hear how it went. Uh... <laughs> It's still happening right now. Yeah, it's still, this is the set. <laughs> yeah. This is part of the set. And these people are not happy. Uh, it went good. I was very. I was happy. It was yeah. a nice crowd. A lot of people here for you know, the Wednesday. Like you don't expect Wednesdays to be you know, crazy. The most crowded. And I mean, it was packed. It was. It was a full house. Uh, so and they were terrific and uh, enjoyed it. Yeah. I've not done. I've been you know for the holidays. I've been off since uh, December twentieth. So you've had some time off. So I had some time off, so yeah. <clears throat> so it was a good like a good night of just getting back in, you know. Do you when really, you take time off, do you just nothing or do you do spots? I don't over? think of funny stuff. Yeah. So no. getting back to it, do you get you feel rusty or is it I just feel, like, No, I did some I did some spots. Like mm-hmm. we'll go back to Nashville where I'm from, uh, and like when we go back I got they I'll do like the some local shows and stuff. Cool. Uh, so I always go up. But uh, yeah, but you know, you do feel like yeah, I felt a little rusty tonight. Like you know, yeah, I had like you know we have it like my little list of new stuff that I want to mix in and uh-huh. uh, you know. So there was spots. Do you think it'll be like the stuff you want to mix in? Do you think by the end of your run here it's going to be done or how fast know. do you work? Uh, <laughs> you know, it can be done. Like I was, I, I started, I started in Chicago, but I lived in New York for eight years. That's where basically where I learned mm-hmm. how to do comedy. And in New York, it was great. You could get up so much. You don't want to do like 15 minutes, but you could really take a joke and figure it out in a week. Yeah. And you would just do, because you would do, you know, two or three spots a night. That's crazy. So, and you're, and you're focused completely on one, you know, like you're doing 10 minutes, so yeah. or 15. So you're, you can really focus on one joke. So you could really like go and like, you know, figure it out. But I think, I don't know. I have one joke that's like a story that may, like, I don't know if, I, I don't know if I'll have stuff figured out by the end of this run, but I think I'll have like, enough of an idea of where it's going to go for sure yeah, yeah nice and does it matter like if you're in a different region because you're on the road a lot yeah like, now you know i wonder like with some if, if if there's a reference in it but i don't think you know I, everything tonight was even there was some stuff that maybe i was like yeah. trying to you would just to see if they laughed i did a joke about uh but this is an old joke it's not even a new joke but the, the one about like a community college in mm-hmm. remedial classes and i don't think that you guys have that in Canada. Uh, yeah, there's like kind of, yeah, pretty much like your stuff is all pretty much like just you and so is there another reason they didn't laugh? Is that what you're like? <laughs> it was the joke's fault. Was yeah. Really no. Uh, no, yeah. Well, you that was the only one sometimes that might, I don't know if it makes that big of a difference, but like, I think know. everybody knows, but what's yeah. good is you, every time I, like every single time you've come, I've come to Canada, you realize like they get it. Yeah. They know, like, I think that's the biggest mistake Americans make. We, Cause you don't, you come here going like, you guys get like, will you get this reference? You like, guys have McDonald's yeah. here, like yeah. And then you're like, the, hey, yeah. dude, even if you don't have something, you will understand. You can kind of figure. You've out. heard of it. Yeah. Even I've heard of uh, stuff from Canada that we yeah. wouldn't have there. It's like I yeah. get it enough to follow. You know, I get it enough to follow your dumb joke, dude. Like, just tell <laughs> your stupid joke. Yeah, instead of trying to simplify yeah. it. Yeah. That's awesome, man. So, uh, have you been through Canada much? I've done a, a good bit. Yeah. Uh, second time here. Uh, Vancouver, Calgary, Montreal. Awesome. And so far, Winnipeg's number one or what? Winnipeg's number one. It's the best. <laughs> it this is, is the pandering uh, section of the show. I'm going to introduce a pandering. Yeah. Just get all your pandering out of the way. I like it. This is people this love is pandering. What it's about here. rumors. They yeah. uh, now this club's great, dude. Like this, you know, it's like when you you know. Yeah, we're lucky like to out. like have this here. Like yeah, this being a comic from Winnipeg, it's yeah. our scene wasn't didn't really exist. Like it did, but like mm-hmm. not on the level it does now. But the fact that we have a club here and we can get up and, and talk to you guys like you is pretty unreal. So yeah, no, you we all have like such a, I mean, like everything's so great about it and like yeah, the, like the crowd and like they get it and you know. It's big, I remember yeah. coming here last year and I learned something. What I learned was like y'all have, like so in Canada, like you know we we have bachelorette parties. Yeah. 
and uh, y'all do too. You have the stag parties. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the girls come and wear like a full. All the get up with the, the get up. Yeah. They wear their bridal dress. Yeah. I've never seen that before. <laughs> and bachelorette parties are notoriously the worst in in the states in America. And in so I saw this girl. I remember like she was sitting on the right side over here. Yeah. And uh, I like saw her, and I was just like, "This is gonna be a nightmare." <laughs> and then I remember over here, there was, it's funny because it's like, really, we're sitting on stage facing the crowd. It'd be funny it's if like, you said it, this is going to be a nightmare as soon as she walked in. Yeah. I, well, I did. When <laughs> okay. she walked in to myself, I go, that's going to be a nightmare. Yeah. And then this guy over here that was uh, just dressed normal was the worst. Oh, he was no. the worst ever. And on stage, I told him, I go, let me tell you, I thought the girl, the girl that's dressed up like that <laughs> yeah, with all was the best grammar. in the world. Yeah. Like, just polite. The group was polite. Yeah. Like, it was a normal, you know, it's like, They're yeah, we're, fun. We're, we're having fun, but I'm not going to be yeah. the wor- a jerk about it, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I, told the, I told the guy that. I was like, she looks like she would be <laughs> a, a, a real big problem. But it turns you out. Turns out. You're worse than guy. a bachelorette party guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's so, rough. Oh man, I've heard Alberta's pretty rough. Like the crowds, like they're pretty blue collar, like Winnipeg is too. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't know. Have you found that out there? Like, have you worked uh, any of those like, northern shows, done, uh, like really northern? I did Calgary. I don't know if I've done. Yeah, uh, I have a theory that I think like the further north you go, it's probably similar to the further south you go. Or, like, yeah, out in the middle of nowhere. Well, it's in the once you get the farther you get away from, you know, uh, big a, centers. A big, yeah, a yeah. city where people are living. You know, like if, the farther you get. <laughs> People where, are socialized yeah. in a society when, type yeah, setting. Once it gets, when it goes from, like, these people built my house to, like, I built my house. <laughs> like, yeah. once the guy says, like, I built my own house, you're like, well, that guy. That I killed not, a man for this house. Yeah, I don't know if, I don't know if you want him at this show. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, uh, what you were saying earlier, uh, you came up in, in Chicago. Yeah. Uh, what was kind of, I guess, your journey through there? Uh, it was uh, it was great. What was this? I had a story. Oh, uh, we were we yeah. had all these great Wait, topics. Sco- yeah. We were talking about, and, and I, I like, already forgot what the story was. Yeah, uh, I should have just went through it. Yeah, man, I forgot what the golly. What, we talked about Big J, uh, and giving oh. his apartment away. That was what's oh, funny. Big yeah. J. That's, yeah, and now that we start going, through <laughs> I don't know like, if it's that the same. Story's one, like but. terrible. This is not the same in Chicago, but I I started in Chicago. Okay, and I was there uh the with uh Hannibal Barris and yeah. Pete Holmes and T J Miller. And, yeah. Uh, Jared Logan, like a bunch. Huge uh, comics. A lot, yeah. <laughs> the real big guys. <laughs> yeah. And so they were all there in Chicago when I first started. And I was there for two years, and I moved to New York. When I moved to New York, I was there for two years, and I, then I got then I was got married. Mm-hmm. And then so my apartment uh, that I lived in, uh, Big J Okerson, a comic, very funny guy. Huge, yeah. Uh, big J, uh, we were on a honey, we were on our honeymoon. An apartment opened up, like, across the street from him. Okay. So he went and looked at it. And we were in Mexico, and like so, we could. He was like, "Tell us who's going to look at it." We're like, "Yeah, go look at it." And he went to look at it, and the lady that was renting it was like, "If you guys want it, you need to put a deposit down now." Mm-hmm. And uh, so Jay could not get a hold of us because we were out of the country. Yeah. So I, don't, I, I still, you know what? I still don't know to this day. He got my mom's number. Okay. <laughs> and he got in Nashville. It, or in, in my mom in yeah. Nashville, he got yeah. her cell phone number. Like somehow. <laughs> I'm get to the He's got of that. people, I guess. He has connections. And he uh, he called my mom to like say like, you know, to like really kind of be like, hey, I have an apartment. Yeah. It's very nice. Uh, we'll put a deposit down if you think they would want. Yeah. And so he just calls my mom, and uh, you know, we're out of the country, and he just Big J just goes like, is this Nate Bargetti's mom? <laughs> and we're out of the country, so my mom's heart just dropped. Oh no! Like, <laughs> yeah. She yeah. just thinks. <laughs> My son has been murdered. <laughs> yeah. Like, why would you Are get you that sitting phone down? Call? Like, ma'am, you? could you sit? Yeah, yeah. Could you sit? Do you have your credit card out, ma'am? <laughs> Are you Nate Bargetti's? <laughs> like, Uh-oh. so and then, uh, yeah. So they, it ended up. She calmed down, and then uh, we got that apartment. We That's awesome. Across. That's a great buddy move to be able to, to sneak. Yeah, he lived back there, uh, and then Louis J Gomez, which they have a podcast called Legion of Skanks, but they check it they, out. They they do it. They. Uh, but they, Lewis uh, lived uh, next to us as well in that cool. neighborhood. So you're so just with a good. bunch of comic buddies, basically. But a comic buddy. Judah yeah. Friedlander lived uh, oh, he, not right in our neighborhood, but he lived like next to it. So cool. we were all related about. That's awesome. You guys Queens had cookouts. And yeah, just nice cookouts. <laughs> we had, uh, had a, the best cookout I ever had was uh, at my. I got to know uh, Patrice O'Neill. Oh, wow. Uh, through Big J. Yeah. Big J was like very good friends with him. And so we, Patrice would always have cookouts. Cool. And we went to his house. 
technically, and then uh, one I think like memorial Fourth of July, our memorial. Yeah. Uh, we had a cookout because we are we had a patio, mm-hmm. a covered patio, and it was a real big patio, and uh, we and Patrice Jay came over. It was like we have a good picture of it. Like it's like me, Julian McCullough, Joe DeRosa, yeah, uh, Jay. Everybody's like why somebody Dan Jackie. That's so cool. I forget Mike Vecchione and then uh, and then Patrice. Yeah. And Patrice cooked. Yeah. And we what like what level of comedy were you guys at around this time? Were I you guys was all kind of starting. Oh, I you was still the newest. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, our my buddy Dan Jack was probably like right above. It. But I think I would say, me Julian like. Me and Julian were probably roughly the same. Mm-hmm. Throws and Vecchio might have been just slightly above us, like in yeah. years wise. Not even like you know, but just like guys that kind of been to New York a little bit longer. Okay. Julian was young, I think, came into New York younger than me. Yeah. And then, uh, then of course, Patri- you know, Big J was like in all the clubs and yeah. doing everything. And then, uh, and Patrice was uh, Patrice. You know. Yeah. He still wasn't even as big as, you know, he as, became. Before, as he became. Yeah. But he was Patrice was like, but it, we everybody knew. Yeah. Like Patrice was, you know, he it was, was going to happen. He was that way. Yeah. yeah. See, with the level I'm at, it's like more. Well, I guess most of me and my buddies is maybe five, six years, five to ten year range. And then yeah. you always wonder, like, in the next ten to fifteen years, like, who's going to go? Who's going to drop off? Yeah, like, man. Were it's, there a lot of guys that you know that you saw that you were like when you were coming up, you're like, oh, this guy's going to be unreal, and maybe he quit or he. Uh, I remember. Uh, or, yeah. No, those guys that quit. Mm-hmm. And those guys, you know, those guys when you first start out that you would say, I remember there's plenty of guys that I would look up. There was guys like, I think what's funny is like there could be guys and not to like guys that, you know, whatever, like credit wise or something okay. I could have done more than. Yeah. But I will always look at them as like a bigger comic to me just because I saw them like, you know, when I was who younger. They were to who you. they were. Yeah. yeah. Who they were to me is much different than who they would be to anybody else. Yeah, definitely. And, uh. So that's all. I always I, I find that very interesting. But I remember seeing what, like a lot of people like. Uh, I remember Aziz yeah. coming in and like. Uh, he blew up like fast. Like he, blew he blew up, up very up. fast. I mean, even with Pete, like yeah. Pete was. I moved right after Pete to uh, Pete Holmes to uh, New York. Cool. And you know, Bill Burr is a guy that I who's been coming a lot longer than me. I've never been close to like. I mean, I'm friends with Bill Burr, but like yeah. I've never like in comedy wise. He's but, yeah. He was a guy, I remember him and Patrice running, uh, I used to hand out flyers yeah. out in the cold, uh, Boston Comedy Club, and him and Patrice, would, they were doing their one HBO one night stand. Yeah. And I remember them coming there and practicing it and running it, and I remember watching them. And so uh, it was pretty interesting to see those guys. And even like for Burr, to watch Burr, I was at their taping, I went to their taping of that. Yeah. And then to see Burr, like I remember the, the Philly night, I remember him coming oh, wow. back from him just before it got like was like blew up yeah i remember him like being back and like talking about it like yeah I don't know, they were like crazy crap like you know just like all these little yeah. weird moments <laughs> oh he's like oh i had a weird thing. show on the weekend yeah 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 and like and it wasn't even like we were like, i don't even know if he would know my name but i was just yeah. a young comic like happened to get in the walk in the group for sure you know? yeah and so uh that's the you know that's not that we were even talking about it. that's why that's why it was that was great about being in new york because like for sure you get to see some pass Especially yeah. now, like I've been doing it uh, 12 years, mm-hmm. so not that that's even forever, but it's like, but I do remember being three years, five years in, and yeah. like, you do, you get it now, it's kind of, it is Amy Schumer, like seeing like her, like, yeah. she, you know, so you're seeing people become stars, and uh, yeah. people are, you know, doing s- such big things, and it's like, it's pretty great, so like, yeah. you know, it's nice to see stuff you're going doing forward. big things yourself they wouldn't uh you know oh no no you yeah. got huge yeah, credits to, and, yeah yeah so no it's going good yeah it's uh yeah you're right no, along with thanks. that which is awesome and uh yeah but it's great it's a fun thing to get to watch and it's a fun thing yeah and it, you do think like that like i don't know it'll be interesting to see in 20 years where yeah you know like at. where everybody's at like uh for me and then you know it's like 10 years and like, yeah it's it's awesome and it's weird just, just being know. in winnipeg too because we're we're miles away from everything like the mm-hmm. next closest city is like six seven yeah. hours, you know yeah eight hours away so like touring canada is a little different than the states yeah. where you can hit each town and yeah yeah and then it becomes about getting into the states and like yeah. do you know any canadian comics like uh, graham k yeah yeah is uh one of my uh, very very close friends yeah that's cool. and uh he uh, stays with me we golf when he, he's come to la and he was like good at golf and then like in the middle <laughs> of it in the middle of a round he like loses it like he goes. He lost his he, game, or he yeah, like, he like lost out. his game. I don't know if he knows <laughs> golf, but like if you can hit a, a draw, so you know if the if the ball will uh, uh, 
go up and like what is it that goes a little bit to the left, right? Or is it a, a shank no. or a hook? I don't know. A hook uh, or a slice. I'm trying to think. Uh, no, a slice will go, if you're right-handed, a slice would go that way. Okay. So a draw, I believe, goes a little bit to the right. Okay. So he would naturally hit a draw, Graham would, mm -hmm. and we're playing. I was like, man, it's great you hit a draw, and we get to one hole. No, wait, I think a draw goes left. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I just want to look like people go, you know. We'll get John to look it up and yeah. put a scroller on. He yeah. likes to do that. Draw, yeah, a draw goes left. And uh, so Graham hits, uh, he's like been hitting draws all day, and he's like just does it naturally. And then we get up to a hole, and Graham goes, I guess this hole goes to the left, and he goes, oh, I'll just, I'll just hit my draw. Like, okay. he says it just like, a draw is the hardest thing to hit. He <laughs> yeah. just happened to be hitting it. Yeah. It just worked out that his, his swing would always make the ball go a little left. He's like, yeah. I'll, just do my, I'll just do the draw thing that thing. I always do. And from that moment on, dude, it was embarrassing to play with him. <laughs> oh, really? Like, yeah. it, was, it was uncomfortable. The people we played with, it was, it was like, you know, playing with, it's like someone who can always okay. hit a seven ten split every yeah. time. Yeah, and then when it and comes down, and then he goes, "I'll just do my seven ten split," <laughs> yeah. and then he throws the ball into another lane. That's what it would be like, <laughs> and he did that every time. And I have to walk. Like I just wanted to be. There was times I would just, I would just drive the, you know, cart away from him, and just to stay with the other people, just because I'm like, you know, it was embarrassing. <laughs> he would be hitting it. Like barely off the tee, and the other people are like, you know, yeah. we have lives. He's we just struggling to speed this up. You that's know, embarrassing. Yeah, he just wouldn't. Yeah. Well, that's your one Canadian friend you have. You can't golf with him so anymore. So that's Graham K. Maybe he's got it. He might. He might get it back together. Yeah. Yeah. How do? You, what would you suggest to him? He's got a lot of comics. Quick golf. comedy. He's got a quick. No. <laughs> yeah. He's got a quick comedy first. <laughs> he's got to focus on. on. Yeah. That's awesome. So uh, what's next for you? Do you know what you? I don't know. I don't got nothing. Uh, I don't know, man. I got a special coming out in Comedy Central. Awesome. So there's yeah. that. Uh, Where did you film I, it? In New York. Okay. Which was nice to go back at a Gramercy Theater. So okay. it was real cool to go uh, back to uh, New York and uh, be amongst everybody. And uh, cool. Uh, so everybody came out. So I think it will be coming out in April. All right. It's not guaranteed, but watch uh, out for it. What's April. it going to be called? I believe it uh, will be called Full Time Magic. Full Time Magic. Do they let you name it or do you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. They let okay. you. That's what's great about like when you do uh, Comedy Central presents. Yeah, okay. You uh, you submit your tape and like when you get off, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. If they still do it this way. They did like yeah. they would ask you like they'd have your list of jokes that you did, and then they would be like, all right, what name like for, what do you want to keep the most? What do you not care about the most? Uh, okay, when it goes to the and then you right. could go, but it was like right when you walk off stage, so you'd like walk off in this moment of like, you're like, oh, this yeah, this is a, did a half hour, and then it's hard to judge too because you just got off the experience. Yeah, like you might, you know, and then you're sitting fresh. there going like, I guess this joke, <laughs> you have to like pick your jokes. You're like, uh, that's weird that they ambush you like that. A little yeah, bit. they did, but I guess they're at least throwing you a bone, being like, we yeah. don't even have to act like. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. It we could kind of just not. We could do whatever point. we want. But with an hour, you get like full. You get to really edit it and uh, oh, cool. have a uh, final cut on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe so. I mean, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I I went through it and watched it. I got to pick jokes. I got to pick like I I cut everything down and like mm -hmm. so that was really cool. So cool. Uh, yeah, so it'll be nice to put something out that I'll be like there you go. See what you yeah know. new special. And then do you immediately go to work on the next next hour kind of thing? Or yeah. Are you one of those guys who no. kind of like burns your stuff? And I don't know. I'm, I'm doing it this weekend. I'll be, <laughs> yeah. doing it, it, I'll be doing it till April and maybe even after April. You can't. Yeah. I still I have some stuff from the, in the hour special that's on the, uh, that was on my CD. Okay. And uh, not a lot, but uh, yeah. uh, some, and it's, uh, no, yeah, you won't, I don't know. I, I, like now I'm, I'm working, I got, I got a list of some new jokes. I, I want to hope to. It'd be wonderful by April to have like 30 minutes that that's newer. For sure, yeah, uh, definitely. But I don't know, you know, who knows? Who knows if that will happen? It's Canadian hard. jokes. I would like to try to do that. Don't do the hour, but I can't do an hour of it. That's like, yeah, I've never been doing comedy long enough. You that's be, insane, yeah. Louis, you got to be 20 something years in. Yeah, that's the do. like, you know, we, all the comedy nerds, you know, kind of listen and watch. And like, well, yeah. these are the hard fast rules. It's like, no, know. that's not. Yeah, yeah it is. You think you that it's like, but it's, it's don't rush. You don't want to throw garbage up. Yeah, you, you know, it's taken me 12 years to get this first hour. Mm hmm. And, you know, to put that down and then to expect I'm going to write a better hour in <laughs> yeah. one year. Like, I'm not, yeah, I'm not good enough to do that. That's insanity. So but. you could do, you know, do uh, the rule, you know, Louie and Burr, the, the guys doing it, yeah. they've been all doing it 20-something, you know. 
Yeah, that's like looking at Michael Jordan level. being like. Kyle Kinane's one that does it though. Kyle Kinane writes a lot of stuff. He hasn't been doing it in twenty years. He's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed by it. Yeah, he likes to booze it up. Yeah, he lives the dream. You gonna do some partying while you're in town? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of what you have to do here. It's like. Stay warm. It's cold. It's yeah. There's not a ton to do. Get into like full scotch drinking or something. Like, yeah, some warm like yeah. spice. No, I would just drink yeah. whatever. Yeah. And uh, the people here like to do stuff. Yeah. So, that's uh, uh, our pizza pops are done. That yeah. Uh, we got complimentary. Is that the normal? That's what the club does box? normally when it goes. I think it's time to wrap it up. Yeah. I wasn't even looking yeah. at that clock that they put on, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Was that time? Yeah. No. Yeah, it says oh. zero zero. That's true. It means get the f off. No, just, oh, I think okay. we, this feels like it should be over. Yeah, I've enjoyed myself. I think we ran, you know. <laughs> yeah. We okay. talked about so much. And by the way, we didn't really talk about anything. That we, we didn't talk about the stuff that we initially yeah. tried talking about. Yeah, that we like, uh, let's save it. Let's save it for the drive home. We're going to add it in the special features. And uh, I probably won't be back the to DVD this commentary, thing, so. probably yeah. not. Because I went it. over time. I'm done. I'm fired. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Jordan. <laughs> well, I knew it was Jordan. <laughs> Is Anyways, that, thanks for joining us here Jordan. on the Rumors Comedy Cast. Nate Bargatze, check him out. He's going to be in town all week long until Saturday. You can get all that information at rumorscomedyclub.com. Follow us at Rumors Comedy on Twitter. I think that's all I'm supposed to say. Yeah. So, yeah, cheers, great, man. Buddy. Cheers. I'll be back to work with you this week. Yeah, all right. Cheers. Thanks, guys. All right.